Hello, I am Raja Mohammed from KAT, Kaimbatur. So I'm going to teach about implementing LR parsers. Parsers a very important aspect in terms of uh, compiler design. Parsing <coughs> comes in with uh, reading the contents, say in the form of a program, whose you know uh, what is a minute level contents will be split into small you can units and identifying what actually it does mean so one such uh, one such parser is lr parser means <coughs> which we are going to discuss now and obviously it plays an important role in uh, uh, parsing contents so we, now we discuss about uh, the number of actions involved in a shift reduce parser shift in the sense changing from one context to the other context and then identifying the cr uh, corresponding grammar that can be substituted in order to reduce uh, uh, the content so first process is called as shift now what happens is that uh, in generally in a parser you'll have uh, uh, what is the input reader input uh, so in a table and you'll have a we'll have a simple uh, stack also the stack initially will be filled with the bottom uh, say what is a bottom uh, indication symbol that is dollar and uh, we'll read the content one by one from the input buffer and when uh, the symbol is pushed even the, when the input terminal uh, when the input is read one by one, we will try to match that one with the corresponding uh, set of productions of a grammar. And then if not, if, if it doesn't match, then we move on to the next, uh, that means advance to the next input symbol. So then reduce means, uh, now when exactly the contents of a stack matches with the corresponding set of production, then that production has to be substituted for the con uh, say contents which we have already pushed onto the stack. So uh, this will this this is like you know see if you have a grammar uh, uh, say something like a derives small a and small b then uh, when when we have you know, the content of the stack as uh, first one is a and second one is b which will be obviously matching that first we pop b then a and it will be exactly matching with the production capital a so then it will be pop on a pop out of the stack. And then uh, uh, when we are done, that means when we have completed uh, reading all the contents uh, uh, from the input buffer and assume we don't have anything in this, uh, so what is a stack symbol also, that means we end up with the, uh, what is a uh, bottom symbol, that means uh, starting symbol, uh, the, the one which we have started, then we will uh, move on to accept state. So the reject in the sense if, if we have uh, some content which is to be read from the input buffer and similarly if we have uh, some content uh, which is not matching in the stack then uh, it's called as a reject state so how to build a lr parser means first we have to start with uh, an, uh, the lr of zero that means if we don't read anything then first take the grammar construct the augmented grammar that is you know if you if you always you start with the, the symbol s yes, then you start with the s dash then find the corresponding items of uh, CFG, create the DFA, that is uh, CFG refers to context-free grammar, then uh, then obviously we have to create the DFA, that means uh, deterministic finite automata, which will have two functions called a closure and go to function. So then using which we will be par you know, what is a constructing the parsing table, the parsing table will use LR of zero in order to generate uh, or to fill what is a, uh, the action and go to contents of the table so how to create the lr of zero dfa means all we start you know we'll have several states assume we have you know we have got a grammar yes we have got a grammar yes starting with yes then it, it's going it's having a definition x capital x now the dot is put in in, in front of uh, x that means it you know we are going to read the next symbol if you read x now x can be expanded as what within bracket of x and then uh, we read we separately read uh, I mean the capital X stands for non-terminal whereas the open and closing brace stands as terminals 
so it will be marked as a s0 then from s0 we have two possibilities that either the x being alone or means read the x or read the first bracket so first one read the x and then end up with seven what is a dollar symbol that is one possibility or in the second choice you expand x then x is again expanded as on what is a uh, open and closing bracket or x without bracket so these are all the possibilities so from which again uh, so here we read x then open bracket then closing bracket uh, and again uh, there is a possibility of uh, uh, multiple brackets can be opened like you know, if you keep on substituting x so we have uh, states such as s0 s1 s2 s s3 s4 and s5 so these are all the possible contents of lr of 0 now to create the lr of 0 parse table for each state what we need to do is that now it will be making transition from one state to the other state uh, which will you uh, know using a terminal symbol uh, now if that is the case then you have to use you know that that's called as a shifting from one state to the other state and then transition to another state using a non terminal is called as a go to if the symbol is a terminal it is a shift process if the symbol is a non terminal it is a go to process so which is defined as a derives a, defi a defined a derives alpha dot so which is uh, which is actually denoting that we have completed the reading uh, uh, process of uh, we have completed the process of reading and then uh, we need to do uh, what is a reduction process so here how uh, you can see the what is a lr of zero part no, say table parsing table starting with say, state s0 to s5 and then for all the terminal symbols open close bracket then dollar then finally in the what is a go to section we have uh, uh, terminal symbol <coughs> so which is again uh, depicted there in the bottom which we have already drafted so now you know changing the language in the sense uh, we are not going you know, so we are it's it's not a normal language it's a context free grammar so string of one or more left parenthesis mean the sense uh, here you have uh, what is a uh, non terminal called x so that can be again replaced with the more number of open close brackets that means the same number of right if you have one left parenthesis then obviously you should have one right parenthesis if you have two left parenthesis then we should have uh, two right parenthesis so how many number of input pa left parenthesis the same number of right parenthesis must also be present there and then if we have uh, what is a epsilon symbol which denotes there is nothing so here now you can see an updated uh, version of lr of zero parsing table now which which includes both shift and reduce uh, you know sometimes we do not know what action we need to do sometimes you know we have to decide should we go with the reduce operation or should we go with the shift operation that is because of the repetitiveness of or ambiguousness in the context free grammar so idea is you know say the lr of zero uh, is the is serves as the base for generating uh, what is a the parsing table that is slr of one grammar so here you now then the last one we you know the last case last slide we have seen you now there are number of uh, shift and reduce conflicts so this will always be a problem so that we need to move on to the next types of uh, lr parser such as uh, clr parser or lar parser there we will be having uh, uh, so many other options like you know, exactly when uh, we need to go for shift operation and then uh, reduce operation so the reduction has to be done only when the input symbol is truly following a reduction that means we need to calculate how many number of terminals uh, are there for a particular uh, non terminal symbol so here this picture you know, clearly mentions that uh, uh, say from which we are able to generate the follow of uh, uh, terminal uh, no, what is a non terminal such as capital x and capital s you uh, know capital x may be having maybe having a closed parenthesis and capital is uh, maybe followed with a dollar symbol so now this can be expanded uh, here you can see s yes derives x is the step one x derives y is step, step two and x again derives you know open parenthesis y derives y within brackets then y also could be an epsilon 
for the extended grammar we can see how one the same set of lr of zero items uh, which are which are mentioned in uh, s0 state s0 then we are going to read all the terminals and non terminals for each state then we obviously find out how what uh, now the dot is you know if the dot is moved from one position to the right position that means we have read that symbol so which i had already explained so here you can see uh, the action in go to stable uh, you can you can see the all the states listed out here now s0 to s6 and then uh, you can you can see all the uh, terminal symbols in the action section and all the non terminals in the go to section so here the lr of 1 represents reading the very first symbol from the input table on a buffer and then this is again expanded Uh, to in order to construct the dfa now you clearly you can see the p and dfa of uh, uh, all the states here starting from the state s0 to s8 with the corresponding uh, action to and go to table for that that means uh, lr parsing table now uh, uh, say lr of uh, is a uh, one actually denotes uh, error while uh, now reading the closing bracket because you can perform a shift operation when you are encountering a open bracket when it comes with the closing bracket there are no other possibilities there so that's why you are finding uh, uh, what to say an error against state s0 correspond in the corresponding column uh, that is close bracket similarly you can see s2 where we have uh, a dollar symbol against which we can also see error because uh, you know uh, from the state s2 we are never going to reach a state called accept state so the accept state is possible only when we encounter only when we reach a state s5 so uh, this is an extension of lalr uh, which we will be discussing in the upcoming classes So here you can see the hierarchy of uh, uh, grammar classes. Uh, so you can see ambiguous grammars and unambiguous grammars. Generally, in computers, we are not going to use ambiguous grammars. So uh, unambiguous grammars only. So here you can see LL of zero, and then LL of one and LL of uh, k. What what actually we have seen is that LL of zero, then LL of zero to LL of one. Likewise, it, this can be expanded up to LL of k. so all are you know interrelated one if one comes to know about lr of 0 then obviously the person can construct slr and lalr and uh, you know he can he can move on to construct uh, uh, clr that is canonical lr parser also so uh, other uh, set of the language which i have mentioned uh, say starting from lr of k lr of 0 to lr of k thank you